Hey guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Giant Alton and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. And as you may notice, I am back in my room filming instead of being in the spare room or office. And I've got a nice background, some photos of me and my boyfriend together that I've printed out. My nan was getting rid of a whole bunch of photo frames today and my mum and I offered to take them. So yeah. And you can see I've still got the blue tinsel up from two years ago that I just can't be bothered to get down. So yeah. So today's video I am doing a craft slash DIY video. Um, I've only ever done one art video on the channel which will be linked up here and down in the description box below. So after, that vid after this video please go check it out. And yeah, let's get into it. So as I've mentioned, this video is a DIY slash um, craft video. You might already know what it is based on the title, depending on what I've titled it. But it's going to be a Harry Potter Hogwarts inspired DIY. Um, and I did have a lot of my mum's help filming it. She helped film and she also did help paint quite a lot of it and she helped me out quite a lot so yeah I hope you guys like this video and please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel it really does help out a lot and any other video I reference during this video I will have linked in the cards and down below and yeah please comment down below if you like this DIY or any other Harry Potter related DIY you would like to see me do. I'm definitely open to filming those and making those for you guys. So yeah. So today's DIY is going to be the Hogwarts house ties. Um, so a lot of things that have seen to do with the house ties are normally whether in separate place on a canvas or their bookmarks. But I've never seen one even in like normal photos where they're just directly next to each other they're normally faced out so that is what i decided to do i did this earlier on in the week and i'm only editing it and uploading it now so yeah i hope you guys like this video so here i have a 20 by 20 canvas i got a pack of four from kmart for like three bucks so it was really cheap and I do recommend getting canvases from Kmart. They are really good and really cheap. What I did was measure 5cm four times to help me get my four house ties. After doing this, I then measured 15cm down on both sides of my canvas to get the length I wanted. After measuring 15cm down on both sides, I ruled from one 15cm dot to the other and then did 5cm gaps again. After doing this, I went from the dots at the very top down to the 15cm line three times to help me get my four house ties. Then I did, ruled a straight line from the 15cm line down to the bottom canvas. In the squares at the bottom, I measured 2.5cm so I'd have a dot in the very middle at the bottom of the canvas. After doing this, I used my rule to help me rule as best of a triangle as I could and that created the ends of my house ties for me. After creating the four triangles I needed for the ends of my ties, I erased all the lines that were unnecessary so that they wouldn't come up through my painting that I would be doing later. After all that preparation, it was then time for me to actually start painting. So I chose to do the painting of the house ties in the actual order that you will find the house tables in the book. So Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. I tried to stick with the original colours by the books and not the movies and to create the gold colour I had I used a little bit of yellow and to put a tiny bit of brown in there and it turned out really well surprisingly. So I went ahead and I kept painting my Gryffindor tie and then while I was doing this my mum was helping me film by holding the camera and in the next clip um, you can see her using a marker to try and help me get a bronzy colour for the Ravenclaw tie. But um, she ended up going over it with some paint and we messed around with the paint a couple of times 
to try and get a close to a bronze color if we could. And I'm actually really happy with how this turned out considering we were just making the colors as best as we could. And so in this clip I am filming and she's painting and it turned out pretty good. And if you can see the little lines on the other three house ties because my mom thought it'd be easier if we were following a line. The first tie I actually did freehand and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to keep doing it freehand or if I wanted it neater. I was going to try to do the traditional markings on the um, house ties but I figured that this would be easier and it doesn't need to be perfect it's just my interpretation of it and me having fun. So. Um, she went ahead and did the blue for the Ravenclaw because blue is her favourite colour. And uh, actually when this dried, the blue looked so cool, so did the bronze and it just looked amazing. So after we finished the Ravenclaw tie, it was then time to start on Hufflepuff. So, Luckily for this house, we didn't need to mix or make any new colours. We just did the simple yellow and black, like the actual house colours. And it turned out really good. It, I'm not really the biggest fan of yellow, but on the canvas, it turned out looking so damn cool. And she continued painting because it was getting really late and she she's way quicker than me at painting. She's also way more talented when it comes to art than me and so she continued on and I'm the Hufflepuff actually reminded me of a bumblebee which I think maybe to a lot of people it would remind them of a bumblebee but yeah so she did the black and the black was pretty good just had to go over a couple times to make sure that there wasn't any streaks or water lines or anything. Um, in this we are actually using acrylic paints. So after finishing the Hufflepuff tie it was then time to start on Slytherin. So with the silver we didn't actually use proper acrylic paints like we were using before. We actually used airbrush paint I think. And it looks so good, but it did come out very thin on the canvas. So we ended up just going over it once or twice to make sure it came out perfect. And not going to lie, it looks so good and the green looks so good with it as well. Um, I just love the way that it ended up looking. And once everything dried, it looked so cool. And so that was really fun. And having the lines there did actually help and we were able to alternate some of the colours and the other three ties looked so much more neater than the Gryffindor one which I did by hand. And we decided to add an extra bit of green at the bottom. She was going to leave it to complete silver but I thought it looked cool to add the green. And because I wanted a black background to make everything stand out more. So my mum did the black for me and she did it really quick. Again, we just needed to go over once or twice with the black to make sure there was no streaks, no um, white coming through and it turned out really good. And like watching this back while editing is actually very satisfying just watching how quickly everything's coming together and how matte the colours are going on and everything. It just looks so good. At this point we had propped the canvas up on something so that we could do the sides black as well because I didn't want to leave them undone. I always think the canvases look better when you've done the sides as well unless the background of what you're doing is white. And it looks so cool and I am really happy with how it turned out. Um, when I looked at it later on that day when it was dry Oh my god, everything was just perfect and better than I actually imagined that it would turn out. So, in this clip, I am just drawing, well, using a marker to put on the initials for each house. So, G, R, and H, S. So, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, 
Hufflepuff and Slytherin, all in their traditional order with their traditional colours. So, as you can tell, I am really happy with how this video turned out, and for those of you wondering, this is how this ended up looking. And yeah, I love this so much, I am so happy with how this turned out, and I am so thankful for my mum for helping me film and helping me paint. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going up on the wall in my boyfriend's room because I haven't got any wall space anymore. Oopsies. But yeah. So, he hasn't seen this yet. I might send him a photo before this video goes up. Or I might just let him wait for the video. So yeah. That's how it turned out. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you want more... DIYs and crafts like this, especially Harry Potter related, please comment them down below, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I will definitely do more. But anyways, until next time, bye!